Should a student ever be forced to deny their religion in order to pass a class in a state-run school? No. No? Okay. So if a test question were to ask you, is there a God, and they are forcing you to say, no, there is no God, or be docked, would that be forcing you to deny your religion? Well, I don't think that's kind of fair because you should separate state and religion anyway, so it shouldn't be in school in the first place. Okay, so how about we expand this to a little uh, bit of a broader perspective, okay? Uh, if you religiously do not believe in the Big Bang, mm. and uh, the test question asks, when did the Big Bang happen? Is that forcing you to deny your religion by saying 13.8 billion years ago? Oh, well, that's kind of hard. It also depends on the person. If you're studying for science, then obviously you would want to believe the Big Bang. But if you're super religious, then it would honestly be whatever your faith is, really. Okay, so a, cer a super religious person shouldn't take a science class. Yeah. What if the science class is required? Well, it depends on what they're doing, too. Like, a science class would be, for me, is a human anatomy. But if I was religious, then they'd probably do, like, biology or something. Okay, well, if a religious person doesn't believe in evolution and they're learning about evolution and biology, how do they get around that? Well, they're here to school, so it's either you paid to come here, so you just kind of either got to do what you do and that's your own private matter. Okay. You know? So it's okay for them to, you, would you call that being forced to deny their religion, though? Mm, kind of, yeah. I mean, if it's like a requirement where you have to basically say God doesn't exist, yes or no, and uh -huh. if the answer is no, then that's then the teacher shouldn't really put that on the test. Okay, so teacher shouldn't ask, does God exist, but they can ask, when did the Big Bang happen? Yeah, see, it's it contradicts itself, so that's why it should be, religious should be your own personal beliefs, and then if you're here to go to school, well, then you have to do what the school dictates. Okay, well, how about just rephrasing the question a little bit here. Can you see how it would be a big difference by saying, when did the Big Bang happen compared to when does NASA claim the Big Bang happened? That's a good question. Because, like, who knows? And when it all comes down to it, who knows? Yeah. Well, NASA claims the Big Bang happened 13.8 13, 13 billion years ago, right? Yeah. And so, uh, if you phrase it that way, then it's not asking you what you believe, it's asking what they believe. And that way you're kind of able to reflect what they said in the, in the class, right? Yeah. Yeah. And so you can say, oh, yes, I paid attention to class, I remember the curriculum, but you're now allowed to disagree with the curriculum as much as you want, right? You can. Because, because they, it's not asking you what you believe, it's what do they believe? You know, what does NASA believe in this matter? You know, what's their claim? What does the textbook say in this matter? It's, yeah. not, about, it's not about your personal exactly. beliefs anymore. Right? Is, is that like a, a huge change there for you? Um, well, I'm not really a religious person, so say, but I believe everybody has their rights to do what they want, believe what they want, and do what they want. Uh huh. So it's all up to the person. Okay. But would you appreciate just those changes? Out of, because as, if you're not really a religious person, you'd still want to be able to disagree with test questions as you please, right? Yeah. And I so. Agree. Yeah, uh, I know NASA claims that stars are formed by gas clumping together in the vacuum of space, right? Yeah, but then a religious person cried you, well, God made that happen, and so God put that person on this planet to figure out that okay. it happened. Well, just from a non-religious perspective here, you can just say, okay, well, when do we ever see gas clumping together in a vacuum? Probably never. Yeah, you don't ever see, whenever you put gas into a vacuum, it expands, it goes everywhere, yeah, right? Exactly. And so, like, you... If they ask you, you know, how are stars formed, and they're forcing you to act like you agree with them, there goes all of your own individual beliefs, right? It's not True. necessarily about religion. It's just having your own opinion in this matter, right? True. And so not only does this little change in test question affect religious people, but affects non-religious people as well, mm -hmm. right? Well, I don't think a test question would be like that in the state of Utah either. Uh-huh. Oh. You don't think you'd ever see a test question like... When did the Big Bang happen? Or yeah, but if I was going to study space and stuff, then yeah, I would see that question there. Just like if I was going to study how to be a minister, uh -huh. I'd see a Bible question on there. It's the same thing. Okay. Well, a lot of the mainstream media outlets these days, including uh, the Journal of College Science Teaching, okay, they claim science never proves anything, right? Yeah. And yet they are 
acting like it does by making definitive statements, right? Mm -hmm. Every definitive statement. So uh, when did the Big Bang happen? Right, 13.8 billion years ago. That's a definitive statement. That's acting. That's requiring you to act like you believe in this definitive statement. Right? Does that make any sense to you? That does make sense. Yeah. It's all. It's like the schools have taught us that that it's been that way forever. But if you grow up going to church, then you learn it one way or the other. So, at some point in our lives, we see that cross in the road, and we have to figure it out ourselves. Yeah. Do yeah. We keep our faith, or in still study what we want in school. Yeah. Or do we completely just throw our faith out the window and change our perspective? Yeah, and it's not just religion here, but it's about believing anything. Anything. Yeah, you can believe any anything. topic. Yeah. Anything out there, but. So, do you think that would be pretty important to defend that in yeah. school, whether you're religious or not? Yeah, you should be able to defend anything you believe in. Yeah. So, uh, on a test, there's no room to for disagreement, though. You do, on a Scantron, you can't say, "Well, this is the answer." You want me to say, but I disagree with, and here's why. That's you don't get that option. Yeah, you don't even get that option. Yeah. So I'm really trying to implement that little change here. Just instead of asking, when did the Big Bang happen? Just when does NASA claim the Big Bang happened? And that way, you're free to believe whatever you want to believe on the matter, right? That's a good way to rephrase yeah. questions. In. So I went and talked to the department head over Earth Sciences here, and he said a little change like that would be infeasible. Really? Yeah. A little change like that would be infeasible. Hmm. I mean, he's the one writing the test. He acknowledges that. He's the one writing the test. But changing hmm. test questions like that would be infeasible. Yeah. So I'm collecting student opinions on that to share that with him, saying, you know, this makes a big deal to a lot of different people. But So I really appreciate your yeah, thoughts on the matter. Yeah. yeah, of course. Thank you. Thank you. Join me. Become a defender of truth by actually getting up and doing something. I've got phone numbers and emails here. Send a text, send an email, not just to these people, but to your local school teachers and school boards. Write to your state board of education. This problem is everywhere. Defend your right to disagree and have your own beliefs. Together, we can make a difference. Send.